the vegetative stage is a stage uh, just after the starting stage and takes place from 21st day after transplanting to 35th day after transplanting. And during this stage, the phosphorus that was used during the starting stage uh, is not required in high amount at this stage. But what is required at, uh, in high amount at this stage is the nitrogen. Because nitrogen is uh, the nutrient that is needed at this stage to give the plant the green pigment to be able to trap light. At this stage, the leaves are going to be bigger, the leaves are going to be multiplied, the plant is going to, to, to produce many leaves. It is a growing, growing stage and therefore it is a stage that requires a lot of management, watering, um, uh, you know, nutrition. Uh, it is a stage that requires all that. And during this stage, the, the, the roots are already developed but they still continue developing. The stem is already developed but it is still continue developing uh, still in terms of uh, the, the, the thickness and also in terms of the height because this plant during the um, late maturity stage you're going to find this plant uh, being up to six feet tall and since it will be that tall then it means um, it has to be very strong to be, be able to withstand heavy rains or uh, strong winds and therefore it is very important at this stage to be able to get all it needs. The leaves are going to trap light and this stage is, is, called, is called the production stage or the food storage stage because at this moment the plant is trapping light or the leaves are trapping light, uh, developing food or synthesizing food and then storing in the leaves and also in the stem. And therefore once uh, this is done at this stage then the plant will be able to be able to sustain the growth until the other stages. And therefore at this stage, the base of fertilizer that is used as a nutrition part of it should be as per the soil test result, uh, uh, test that was done. The soil test will give the deficiency of nitrogen in this soil, giving what is required to be applied per plant and also uh, per acre, per acre, uh, you know, acre of land. It could be sufficient, if maybe uh, nitrogen is sufficient as per the test result, then you are going to find uh, only what is needed is uh, secondary supplementation. But if the, the, the nitrogen is deficient in the soil as per the, 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 the test result, then the application is done as per the recommendation of the soil test. And therefore, it is very important to be able to do the soil test initially so that you can be able to uh, uh, to apply fertilizer from an informed position. Now, once nitrogen is, uh, the nitrogenous fertilizer is applied, and in the market, such fertilizers we have what we call CAN, calcium, calcium ammonium nitrate. And once that is applied, it's going to be taken up by the plant. It will be able to boost the plant more so that the leaves can be wider, the leaves can be more green to trap light. And the plant is going to multiply because you're going to find the outer leaves, the first leaves that were established are going to grow bigger. We have in the middle of the, uh, of the kale plant, we have smaller leaves that are still growing. And therefore that is the continuous. New leaves growing, the outer leaves growing bigger, and the middle leaves still continue to grow bigger. And that's how generally how the plant, the kale plant grows. We have also the secondary supplementation, apart from the basal supplementation, they have the secondary supplementation, and this is uh, through the application, the application of uh, a nitrogenous fertilizer. A fertilizer rich in nitrogen, because that is the main ingredient that is required. The foliar fertilizer will have other, the other nutrients. We have um, phosphorus, we also have uh, potassium, but the key ingredient will be nitrogen. Up to 70% or even 80% will be nitrogen. And when it is, it is sprayed on the leaves, the plant will take through the leaves and it will boost whatever it is getting from the roots. Secondary supplementation using a nitrogenous foliar fertilizer is usually done using a, fertil a foliar fertilizer in the market. They are called high, high N or they are called vegetative foliar fertilizers. And therefore it is very important to be able to apply a nitrogenous fertilizer. And preferably a nitrogenous fertilizer that also has included trace elements or micronutrients. If it has micronutrients, these micronutrients are going to 
add value to the plant through strengthening the defense system of the plant and also aiding in uh, uptake of more nutrients from the soil. In terms of the pests, you find that the plant, uh, the leaves are growing wider and the, the, the leaves are succulent and by the leaves being succulent, pests will be attracted and they'll be attracted because uh, the leaves ha have wide area of attack and also uh, they have food in it and therefore the pests are going to be many and uh, during this stage the same pests that we mentioned the ballworm the caterpillars uh, diamond back moth uh, uh, that's a dbm all of them will be here to attack aphids thrips we also uh, attack and therefore scouting is very is very important to know the exact exactly the the pest that is attacking so that the requisite uh, active ingredient is applied and application of the active ingredient or the control of the pest should be done as mentioned during the starting stage it is very important to note that this is a production stage where the plant is making food and therefore if the plant is left to be attacked or the leaves are attacked then it means the level of food production will go down and the plant will not be able to grow uh, to the desired height or the uh, uh, you know the desired uh, level and since the leaves if the leaves are attacked especially by the chewing pest they are going to reduce the surface area in which food is produced and therefore by doing that then you find the crop will not be able to grow very well controlling pests during this stage is very important we go to the diseases and the disease that usually attack at this stage are the same one that we mentioned black rot uh, ring spot and also we have downy mildew so those are the uh, diseases that usually attack at, uh, at this stage and attacking at this stage is uh, very detrim uh, detrimental to this crop because you find uh, the leaves once they are diseased they are not able to produce food maximally once they are disease free, they are able to produce food maximally by trapping light and producing food. And therefore, diseases should be able to be controlled very well. Black rot, if controlled very well at the starting stage, you won't have a problem with it during this stage. And also, down mildew and ring spot. They are supposed to be, if they are, there are incidences of them at the starting stage, then care should be taken uh, so that they are controlled at that level. And if they are still here, still you can be able to control them so that at the, as, as this plant goes to the maturity stage then you won't have a problem with the diseases because the more the plant matures the more the diseases are going to multiply and the more they are going to have to cause a problem and the control for the diseases is similar uh, for this disease is similar to what uh, as mentioned during the starting stage in terms of weeds you find at this level uh, the weeds, the plant has been able to cover very well. It has, able to, it has been able to cover the uh, line to line spacing. You find that that plant and this other plant, they have come together, they have covered very well. From plant to plant along the line, you find the leaves have been able to come together because the plant has uh, developed the, the, the leaves and it has covered very well. And therefore, uh, it means weeds have been suppressed and they know, there is no need for uh, weeding at this stage. Watering should be very done very well. If it is raining, sufficient rainfall is there, then the plant will be growing very well. If there is no sufficient rainfall, as mentioned, then there should be supplementation of water using irrigation. The water source, you pump water, you give to your plants, and therefore the plants can be able to grow. Because if the plant uh, doesn't get enough water at this stage, then the plant will not be able to grow to the required size of the leaf. And once it doesn't reach the required size of the leaf, then it means that will be a loss. Because the leaves are the ones that are sold, and once the leaves are many, uh, if they are sold per kg, uh, if the, uh, the, the leaf size is small, then you are going to find you are going to harvest more per kg. If the leaf size is big, you harvest less per kg. 
less leaves per kg and therefore you're able to have more production and more profitability and that is very important to give a lot of water so that the leaves during this stage can be able to grow to the maximum uh, uh, leaf size uh, that can be able to be achieved and from this stage uh, the plant will now transit to the maturity stage and we are going to see what uh, the management, management aspects that are deployed during the maturity stage.